You guys want to talk about some Warhammer? <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is uh, my Warhammer video that I told you guys about. I was going to make about a month ago after uh, May 4th. I've been working about 60, uh, 65 hours a week. So, you know, eh. But the day that this video goes up, I'm actually going to be playing Warhammer with a few friends of mine. All the way back up in Indiana. I live in Middle Tennessee. And, you know, it's going to be great. I'm going to play with my army back there and uh, see how it goes. And, you know, just catch up with them and uh, be my family. But uh, today's video is going to be going over that army. But I figured I should go over the minis that I haven't built yet. That would get them out of the way. And, uh, oh, also... Uh, in the description or comment section, I'll leave the full army list for the 500 point and 1000 point army that I'm bringing. That way you guys can check it out. So, you know, yeah, let's get on with the video. Uh, so the first miniature I have is... Actually, you know what? Let's rewind. Let's rewind. So when I was getting to Warhammer, the first army that I personally wanted to make was the Imperial Knights and Grey Knights. Some type of combination where I would have like a designated 500 points just for an Imperial Knight and the rest would be Grey Knights. So when I was saving up my money to buy the miniatures, I realized, oh my god, this store doesn't have a lot of Grey Knights. There was like none. Now, third army that I wanted to make was Sisters of Battle because they're just a badass. There's belief in the God Emperor is what gives them power, right? So that's the army I went with was Sisters of Battle and Imperial Knights because they just didn't have the Grey Knights. So I am looking for Grey Knights, but right now Sisters of Battle is my main army. So when I was fleshing out my 2000 point army, I wanted to get the Palantine. A great looking miniature. She has a last pistol. Oh, now focus on me. Last pistol. She... I have to look at my army list again, but I think she's leading a, a squad of Sisters of Battle. Great miniature to have. Next, this is the Grey Knight that I've been looking for for a while. Uh, we got Castellan Crow with his demon sword that talks to him. And he's in hell all the time. Cool looking miniature. I haven't decided if I, if I wanted to go with the helmet or... I did not mean to throw that at you, viewer. I apologize. I haven't decided if I want to go with the helmet or just a regular face, but I personally love helmets. I'm going to be honest. All my sisters of battle, for the most part, have the helmets. So, I'll show you that. I'll show you them in a minute. Then we got the Space Marine Vulnerable Dreadnought. This dude is fucking badass. I wish they were better. I wish they were better on the tabletop. Because I only got this guy because... The Grey Knight version of these just looks so cool. And the lore of them being entombed within the machine, like, because they get so injured, that is so fucking cool. Sticking with the Grey Knights for a little bit, this is my uh, Grey Knight Strike Squad. Comes with 10 miniatures. 10 miniatures is a really cool, badass looking set. My brother actually, for Christmas, uh, bought me one, so I actually have two of these. But it's in Indiana, I have to come back down to get it. I have to go up, and then when I come back down, I'll have two of these. That's what I meant. But it's a fantastic looking little set, and I really uh, can't wait to build these. Now we are getting to Sisters of Battle. Then, like I said, probably a few times already, I'm the main bulk of my army. So, the very, let's just go, we're just going to go down my box pile. Uh, we have two... Engines of Redemption. I prefer this one, the Penitent Engine. The one with the flail and, what is it, the, the Mortifier? That one is kind of like poopy. I like the Penitent Engine, it's really cool. It's just a badass fucking goth metal design where their torture is what's powering the machine. Like, that's fucking, that's rad. And then we have our first hero character. We have Morvan Vall. I don't know much about Morb involved, I'm being honest. Uh, she has this Paragon War Suit and she didn't get uh, pinged up with the Paragon War Suits. Yeah, that's the only reason why I bought this is because I'm like, I need a Warlord. Boom. Here's the Paragon War Suits to go with it. 
Don't know much about Marvel. And then we have two Castigators. Now, I recently read of Fire, Fire and Faith. The sisters, one of the sisters, battle book, and the Castigators and Exorcists. I was like, damn, bro, that shit's badass. A fucking organ on a tank, and like the Castigators are just metal as fuck, dude. Like they have all kinds of Aquilas, the Imperium logos, a giant ass cannon. Like, oh my god, it's fucking cool. Then on the back, they got a dual burst one. Like, I gotta get an Exorcist, if I'm being honest, is what, is what this is telling me. Because I love me some heavy-duty artillery, let me tell you. Cascaders are awesome. And then our second and final unmade box miniature is the Triumph of St. Catherine. Basically, a funeral parade <laughs> miniature with the... Uh, and I think it can swap between different abilities depending on what saint you're using. I don't know much about St. Catherine other than this. I'm still very new to Warhammer. Uh, also, in the description, I'll leave links to Bricky. He uh, made this awesome video going over every faction within 40k from Xenos, Chaos, Imperium. Like, he did it all. 500 point, well, more like 460 points of my 1,000 point army is going to be dedicated to this dude. My Imperial Knight Crusader. Avenger Gatling Cannon, the Rapid Fire Battle Cannon, the Storm Pod Missile Launcher. Like, this guy is fucking awesome. Also, I magnetized him. So I can uh, swap out his... His uh, artillery, if I wanted to. And uh, make him Paladin Knight or something. I don't know. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, this is this guy's a part of my 1,000-point army list because uh, he's pretty he's pretty big. I love mechs. I grew up with Neon, Gen Neon Genesis Avon Galeon and a few others that are just sitting on my mind right now. But I, I love this guy. He is by far my favorite miniature and I'm just oh, I'm just in love I look at them all the time all right let's give it to sisters of battle alrighty this is my sister uh, battle this is the battle squad two of them and uh, I guess we'll start right here I'll work my way so hopefully you guys can see this this is the battle sister superior with a chain sword storm bolter then we got regular battle sisters up until the Canoness, which is uh, this miniature right here. She has the the cross bow pistol. Oh god, I'm sorry, my camera and the chain sword. Uh, something that I realized when after I made these is that the chain sword kind of sucks. So I think if I was going to make another Canoness, I'd probably give her the the sword. And then uh, from the Canoness, we have a heavy battle sister that has. The heavy storm bolter. I know a lot of people go with the multifier, the the multi melters, but the heavy storm bolter just, oof, that's so badass, dude. And the helmet, oh my god. Actually, if you look across, I know it's focus. I know the camera's focusing on me, but if you look across, I only have a few battle sisters that don't have the helmet, because I think the helmet is badass. Also, the paint scheme, the. The paint scheme of my army is uh, blue, but the Battle Sisters got this, uh, got the Imperial Children's Hot Pink, because of fucking, oh my god. Normally, I'm the kind of guy that goes uh, black and red for everything, so I was really trying to go with a different kind of paint scheme for all these, and I was like, pink and blue look pretty good, and then I quickly went to uh, black and red, which you will see later. But yeah, moving down from the Canonists. Once again, Candace is right here. We have more Battle Sister Squad. I think one of them has a multi fire, a uh, multi melter. Ah, yes. She has the multi melter. They all have magnets on the bottom, by the way. And they each equip with a bolter. And then, uh, you know, they do have that one thing where they could generate miracle dice if they die, which is pretty cool. Here's my other sister superior. 
chain sword, bolter. And then we have the round out 500 points and 1,000 points. I have Death Cult Assassins right here. Right here. And uh, I think they are also in Age of Sigmar too. But this is going to be the main bulk of my army. They're going to be running down, capturing command points with the Rhino and the Knight Crusader. Jesus Christ. Coming down to support them. I figured I might as well just show you the Rhino. The Rhino, I uh, was the first one that I you know, tested the pink scheme on with the pink, the blue, the gold, the black. I think it really pops out. I like it a lot. The Rhino is going to hold, I think, if my play strategy is correct, this is going to have the Cannonists and a squad of 10, and they're just going to drive in, <laughs> capture an objective, while the Imperial Knight is going to move up behind them. And then, depending on where my friend is, because he's playing the Imperial Guard, Seraphim Squad A, right here, which is these late. Hey, let's move the Penitent Engine over here. Which are these ladies right here? I think this is Superior with a nice gold sword. I put a little bit of gold on the back of the wing. Ah, uh, it's not focusing on me. Uh, I guess you can see it a little bit. Gold on the back of the wings. The Seraphim Squad has deep strike, so they could teleport. I think within nine inches of the enemy, or I could teleport them to another objective. So it's going to be really good, especially when in the thousand points when I get whoa. Don't fall over, my big dude. When I got two of these badass squads. This one, I went with the classic that I always do, red and black, without the helmets, because they just, oh my god, they just look so, so fucking good. This one has a last pistol and sword, and you can see I put gold on the bottom, bottom of her. Black, red, and gold. Because it looks fucking badass. And I realized, looking at them, they're not done. I, uh, I've been lazy, I've been streaming more, and I just, I haven't been in the mood to paint, but I will finish them eventually. This is the Penitent Engine, there we go, sorry, it's pretty cool, I already talked about them a little bit earlier, but yeah, Seraphim Squad is probably my favorite Sisters of Battle, and this one right here where she's in this pose flying with two pistols, it's just, oh my god, I don't know, it's just badass, I love the sisters of battle, here, let me see if I can get, I can't really get this closer, because my other monitor's over here, yeah, that's my army, actually, one more thing before I go, uh, I bought these hot pink pixie dice, that kind of matched the aesthetic of the army, so, uh, you know, Connor, if you're watching this, and you'll lose to my hot pink dice for my hot pink minis I that was I've been talking for too much either way the video is over I just want to show these dice uh, that's my army that's gonna be my future army and eventually gray knights will get fleshed out and I still am missing quite a few scissors of battle I hope you enjoyed the video uh, I know I said I was gonna make the Hellboy video but honestly rereading the Hellboy comics I'm like damn I don't really have the time right now to dedicate to make that video because I still work two jobs, still producing a podcast. My tank top has been fucked up this whole time. I just saw it in the camera and nobody told me. What the hell? What was I saying? Oh, yeah. And I'm uh, still working two jobs, still working on the podcast, trying to live stream more. And that there's a lot of Hellboy comics and trying to make a video <sighs> might take a while. But for sure, the next video... It's going to be why you should read the Witcher comics, because they're badass. And then, after that, I don't really know what the next video will be. I'll probably figure that out later. But, yeah, look forward to why you should read the Witcher comics next. Look forward to me live streaming more. Check out the Star Wars Edge of Empire podcast. We are coming out with a and d show within the next... I want to say three to four months. We are still per making the, the thumbnail and the music for that show. And I got edited that too. So yeah, there's a lot of content coming from me. 
hopefully you guys will like it. Hopefully this video was a disaster. I kind of realized that, you know, I don't get to talk a lot about the stuff I like. So when I get the chance, I kind of get excited. So if that was too much for you, I totally understand. I'm going to try to cut it down the best I can. But uh, yeah, that's all I got. Uh, maybe I'll make a follow-up video update about how, the, how playing with this army goes. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. My room is a mess. I ain't clean it up. But when you're single, uh, and uh, all, all you do is uh, work and try to play your hobbies. It kind of, kind of sucks. Okay. You guys want to talk about some Warhammer? Oh dear heavens! And also, it's gonna be at the end of the video.